Hi everybody. <laughs> Welcome. I'm sitting here with Lucy Wallace, the co-founder of Dance To Be Free. Um, and today she's going to be talking a little bit about a workshop that she's going to be leading here at the studio on August 12th between 1 and 3 p.m. So hi Lucy. Hi. hi. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. So yeah, the workshop is uh, titled uh, Bringing the Fire. Bringing the Fire. Bringing the Fire. Burning Down the House. Burning Down the House. And um, I'd say the subtitle is How Do We Bring the Fire When We Look at uh, the Prison of Privilege. So as some of you know, I've been dancing in prison um, almost monthly in five states now. And what I'm seeing is there is an ironic freedom in prison that we don't necessarily have in the free world. And so there's so many pieces to that, whether it's about nothing left to lose or uh, there's no one paying money, there's no money exchange, there's no one driving up in a cute car with their little sexy outfits. There's just equal playing field. And it just feels like there's a certain amount of rawness and realness like almost like these women in prison are closer to the core or the the center of reality because they're in such a hopeless environment and there's not pretense and so what i see is they're bringing the fire and we bring it here at alchemy of course i mean i see so much expression here do you sense that there's a difference between the way people are bringing the fire here in this studio space as compared to the women that you're working with in prison? Yeah, I mean, it could be as simple as in prison there are no mirrors. And then in studios we often have mirrors and we're kind of checking ourselves out. And there can be just a sense of disconnect because we're looking at our image. And then there can be a sense of not being able to drop in as deeply. But then there's obviously people are so letting go here in all of the soul sweat classes. But um, what I want to invite in this workshop on the 12th is, is how can we play with um, what freedom really means to us when we have more choice, when we have more privilege, when we have more, um, I mean, choice is really a big one. We, we are almost, we have almost too many choices, especially here in Boulder. And as I travel and go to these towns that are so poor, where um, a coffee shop is like a foreign concept. <laughs> and then just meeting women who are like, yeah, I've been in here for 20 years. And I'm just like, how are you walking? How are you waking up in the morning? How are you smiling? How are you, how are you so hopeful? And so they have just taught me so much that I, want to share that in this August 12th so, session. So that's really, really impactful when you talk about it. I, um, I imagine that a lot of the conceptions of what you understand your own privileges to be and the gratitude towards your own choices have really changed um, since being there. Mm -hmm. Could you say a little bit about some of those things that you might be noticing in your own personal life, um, the ways that I'm working with such destitute po populations, how it's really impacting you? You're there a lot, right? Like you've been there Three yeah. weeks, you said. I was in prison in July, in the month of July, for forty hours. Forty hours. So yeah. Three teacher trainings in Pueblo and Arkansas, and um, you're taking the deep dive. It's like you're right in there with them. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite inmate. <laughs> I know so much time and just meeting these deputy wardens and these guards, and some of the guards say things like, "I feel more free." When I'm in this gym here with you, uh, when I walk out these doors, I don't feel as free. And I'm like, oh my God. Um, the guards say that. Yeah. Wow. One woman said that in Arkansas recently. Wow. And I, um, sometimes it feels so massive what's happening. I haven't totally let it in because I don't know if I could keep going mm -hmm. if I did. Like it's so deeply tragic what's happening. And as someone said, it's like prison is a symptom of our society and I'm spending all this time as people cry and say, I just realized for the first time that I matter. Mm. I'm just like, I'm taking that in and I'm also aware of like, if I really let all of this in, I think I might be overwhelmed. Yeah. And so there's a sense of like, um, 
like being present but not fully absorbing all of it the tragedy but there's some way in which what like even just um i'm a fan i follow you on facebook <laughs> if you out there can follow dance be free if you're not already following but um there is a sense of the nuggets of wisdom that you are pulling out of these places i think for me on the outside i'm kind of like mostly in the bubble i've been to prison with you but it's a long time ago hearing these little messages for me it's like a little taste of hope or a little taste of um meaning like really yeah. deep meaning yeah and i wonder if that's also it sounds like there's some protective wall which mm -hmm. sounds really smart mm -hmm. and intelligent on a certain level and there's also something that you're giving this wisdom back mm -hmm. to all of these people who are here you know these women who are, right. are wearing their hot outfits to dance class <laughs> right every week yeah right yeah it's just so. perspective it's such perspective like when i was in arkansas i i, I learned that the women are in a barracks of 64 beds which are just cot after cot after cot so there's no walls between not even like the half walls from orange is the new black there's no privacy when they have the toilets are fully exposed and the lights are never off and they have to eat chow in 10 minutes without talking to each other wow and i posted that on facebook asking can you imagine and, and i'm really just trying to throw it out there like wow this and, and, and I'm always careful because I don't want to badmouth the prison um, system, but then I don't want to romanticize the women in the system. And then I also I'm just trying to state the facts. And it's just like it's so easy for the mind to be like, oh, the 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 wardens and the staff are the enemy. And it's and then when you break it down into individuals it's like the warden we met in arkansas took us to his house and gave us pickles and peppers and honey from his beehive pickle peppers pickle <laughs> and he grew up. and i'm like and he and he said the last night we were there he said tonight was just magic 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 and i was just like here's the supposed you know power hungry money mongering warden who's just getting off on power and it's like no he's actually he cares deeply he watches our whole teacher training the whole time it's like it's like what you're saying you know like the, like even the warden that was, or the guard that was saying i feel more free i'm in your presence like it's this gift of freedom kind of you can almost say like existentially we're all searching for we're searching for this openness this release and this yeah. freedom and you're really seeing it in every individual it's not like there's no black or white or like you said, right. enemy. Yeah, it's almost like they, the women are closer to, um, oh, you could say rock bottom. So there's a sense of like freedom in that, of like all of us are still in these protective um, safety nets of like, mm -hmm. we're not facing homelessness or um, it, it's just something very, very human and primal. And it, it does feel like we're going into the source of humanity yeah and you're bringing back a lot of medicine it mm -hmm. sounds like so for our population here at alchemy at the studio i'm wondering some of the ways that, that you might be bridging these two worlds of bridging this um this real wisdom base i mean even the stories you're telling right now i mm -hmm. feel like i feel like i'm being impacted by them you know mm -hmm. and i imagine people at home are also um but what do you think in terms of the workshop like how Will you be doing some of this work of bridging these pieces around freedom and understanding the prison of our own privilege, the prison of our own mind? Mm -hmm. um, well, we'll definitely be dancing to their moves, so moves that didn't come from me, but were from these women as they serve time. And I'll be reading some of their poetry and uh, some of their journal prompts. And, um, you know, it would be great to actually share what we create on the 12th with the women, you know, so there could be a way to to bring it back yeah you can video it something yeah. yeah 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 that would actually be let's do that <laughs> <laughs> burn it Done. on the dvd and we'll Done. bring it back to prison we'll bring it back to prison because the one thing is they don't want to feel forgotten and so we did this really awesome exercise where the one woman would stand in front of everyone and she would say here i am and the whole group would scream we see you oh, that's fine yeah that's good. so we could do that with our group and scream we see you and we'll send it to them that's beautiful. Before we get on Ellen. That's beautiful. <laughs> of course. <laughs> if Ellen's watching right now, she's welcome to come to Lucy's workshop on the right. 12th. Come on, Ellen. one and three at Alchemy Movement here in Boulder, Colorado. Um, 
And so just in terms of this fire piece, I even heard someone today say to you, like, how do you have the fire to keep going? Yeah. Like you are cultivating this fire. You talk about burning down the house or keeping it alive, you know, mm -hmm. keeping that fire going. Um, can you speak a little bit to that, to the, to the fire that's driving you? I mean, it's, someone put it really well in this book called Just Mercy. It's reciprocal mutuality. So it's like, I'm getting just as much out of it, maybe more, because they're saying the most profound things to me, like I matter, or my family can die in peace now. And so um, there, I'm being fed, and that mm -hmm. keeps me going. Yeah, great. So come to Alchemy Movement between one and three and get fed, get the fire burning and find your own freedom. We'll see you there. Thanks. Thanks.